Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Waiting in Queue podcast. I'm your host with the best hair in the world. Katie, how is my hair doing today? It is fabulous as always. Oh, my That's God. That's like the freaking <laughs> hair, dude. Yeah. I didn't switch my laundry. I should have switched my laundry before we did this. Because we're not editing you would, here. You want to go right now? Are we not editing here? No. So we're packing up and leaving after this? Yeah. No lunch? Nothing? We could still get lunch if you guys want to get lunch. I wouldn't mind that. I, I like talking to you guys. Kind of. I really want to turn like talking to you guys into getting Let me go paid so then that. I don't have to talk to you guys. You keep talking. <sighs> you keep everybody excited. Um, everybody stay excited. Keep them excited, Derek. Keep going. Well, uh, more excitement. <laughs> oh, more. Bring it up to the next level. <laughs> oh, baby. Well, well, well. We're in this situation again where it's just me. Katie, uh, how's it going with you? Um, I've been doing good. Not, not much has been happening. Good, good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have uh, recently uh, tried to get back more into uh, streaming and uh, making YouTube videos. I've been doing the streaming for a little bit now, but making YouTube videos has mm-hmm. always been like the hardest part. Are you just using like your stream clips or are you actually doing oh, yeah. videos? I, I just do stream clips and try to turn them into uh, YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually, you know, we've been making the like the shorts and all that stuff like we do for the podcast Mm -hmm. uh been doing pretty much the same thing and posting them on youtube shorts and tiktoks okay i i got seven new subscribers on youtube from it that is awesome yeah i was pretty thrilled because one of them got like two thousand views oh wow that's that's really good yeah i was pretty happy and i Mm -hmm. got a couple more clips in the work um and i've got like four youtube videos like on the back burner which was that was one of the hard things when I was trying to do YouTube was not making videos. Mm-hmm. Like some weeks I would be like, man, I didn't record anything worth, I thought, posting. So it feels pretty good to like having a backlog now. No, definitely. So trying to trying to get on that and stay ahead and uh, mm-hmm. try and um, grow an audience for myself. Yeah. Uh, no, Connor, that's really good. Connor pretty much doesn't want to do any sort of streaming anymore or... Uh, he just kind of wants to. He he wants to be the guy that when you come up to and you're like, "What do you do for a living?" He's like, "I'm just a dude, man. I just <laughs> I just live." Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isn't that what you want, though? I am just a dude. Well, like, how cool you would love your life if you just sat on the porch of your, you know, twenty story apartment that's also on the ground ground floor. Yeah. And you're the on clown the, floor. The clown floor, obviously. Yeah. And people walking by, and you're just there, like, all these freaking posers going to work, man. And I'm just here, like, a little. If I could look at people every time they went to work in the morning and be like, you You, suck. You specifically get up early in the morning to catch those people going to work and tell them they suck. I would love that. I'd be that dude. No, I want to. um, You know what I need? Watch cars for a living. Yeah. yeah. Watch cars? I would love that, too. That'd be sick. (laughs) Just like watching them. That'd be cool. I just go to the tracks and watch. I get paid. Uh, it's it's bi-weekly though, which is kind of that kind of sucks. But yeah, but you know, it's you a know, bigger it's it, it is a bigger paycheck. It's just like with bi-weekly, you really have to be good with your money. I feel, you know, or you're gonna be making like a lot, a lot. But if you're like really good with your money, bi-weekly is nothing, right? Mm-hmm. However. I just don't think I'm as good with my money as I think I am because it still seems somehow sometimes I don't have any money. I don't know if it's because I I am paying down things quicker, but I'm just trying to be that dude, you know? Yeah. I need to hang up my longboards in my room. In your gaming room? Yeah, my gaming room. The stream room? Yeah, they're pretty sick longboards. The guy's like... How big do you have? What? How big do you have? What? <laughs> no, I know, I know what you're saying. That was just funny. Uh, I've got I've got two long boards, and then I've got a like a uh, a duster, whatever it was, because yeah. I thought that would be easier to ride around in uh, Chicago. Yeah, the smaller one. Yeah, because I could do that on the sidewalk. Right. 
but that one was very easily catchable on the cracks, so you had to be really careful. Because I'd be I'd be riding around with my laptop in my back, and then like you'd catch a crack and be like, "You're just you're falling." Dude, forward. <laughs> so I used to longboard in Chicago too. That's how we got around a lot, and I used to go way down mm-hmm. into the city and back. Like I'd spend days on the longboard, a day on the longboard and back. Yeah, he would. Uh, I I'd be at the apartment and kind of be like. I'm going to go longboard, clear my head, and he'd go on this like spiritual journey of finding himself on his longboard in the middle of Chicago. I was going through a lot in Chicago. Uh, Yeah, there was a lot going on in Chicago. Yeah, after the whole first, you know, big fucking fiasco bullshit, dumb stuff that I like went through because I was an idiot and stupid. But like, anyways, I used to go longboarding a lot, which was a lot of fun in the city. Like longboarding on the road with like the cars was a yeah. lot of fun. It was awesome. And it's like a whole different it's a whole different aspect mm-hmm. of boarding than it is just like in someone's driveway. Cause I, I would like I would grab onto cars and let the car take me for a little bit. Like it got really fun. However, there was one time I went to go get groceries and I had a penny I was on the penny board this time. And I had like all these groceries on me because I got really good at longboarding, so I carried everything and that's how I did it. And I fucking hit a crack, dude. And I, like, fell down and smashed all the groceries and shit. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> Just, like, straight biffed it. You got dude. hit by an Uber driver, too, didn't you? I did. I got hit. I remember you coming home and, like, I got hit by an Uber driver. And you were kind of, like, you were kind of excited about it. Yeah, I was like, like this is crazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's coming out of an alley. And he didn't, like, honk or anything. Which, usually, you honk coming out of the alley to, like, what bikers or people walking now. And he didn't, and he fucking, he was coming pretty good, and he hit me, and it, like, launched me off my board, and the board went rolling. It was an Uber driver, and he comes out, and he's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And he was, like, offering to give me a bunch of shit, but I didn't take it. Looking back at it, strong. You, you screwed up big time. Our buddy got paid, bro. Mm. I mean, he had medical bills, though. Yeah, but you've got depression. I, yeah. I, I, I was like, pay. man, that really hurt my depression. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, dude, no. And then I just take him to court. That was wild, though. That was a good time. I also punched a squad car because a cop almost hit me. I'll never forget that either. Yeah. I, I fucking remember, hit like, that cop car so hard. Tanner would come down to hang out with us in Chicago, and we would uh, all longboard to go get pizza. Pizza, or we go to like the Chinese restaurant. Uh, that well, that was when we were no in the dorms. Right, that was Chinese yum yum. There was one time that we went to another Chinese restaurant. Well, we went long. I thought it was only, we went longboarding for a while. I thought that was only me and you, because that was when we used the chopsticks to find out that if you stick them in water, it'll show if your water's poisoned. No, that was that was different too. You might not remember this. Tanner comes back. I do remember that we went down. You can just go straight. We just kept going straight, and we ended up at a Chinese restaurant. Yes, I remember that. There was a time that me, you, and Tanner just went long. It was like the first time Tanner was there longboarding with us, and we stayed out on the west side. So it was kind of like uh, like a living area. It wasn't like in the city. It's still in the city, but it wasn't. It's like the suburbs of the city, I guess you would call it, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were riding through there, and it, we were riding for a while, and we were like, man, we're hungry. Let's just get food. And we had no idea where we were. We, like, nobody would be like, oh, let's go eat here because we, we, we really didn't know. And then we ended up at a fried rice place. That's what I was talking about. Okay. Do you remember that? It was yeah, very – it was very – it was like a very small place that we none of us had eaten at. Like me and you hadn't eaten there. And we're like, you know, this guy fried rice – and we got fried rice, and it was like a tiny fucking place, dude. Like when we sat down in there, it was we were like the only seat in the building. It was like by a big construction site that was going on. I I think I do kind of remember that. It, it was like it was miles away from where we were living too. This okay. is when we were in the apartment. Yeah. But anyways, that's what I was talking about. But yeah, we never longboard to Chinese Yum Yum. We walked to that. It was like right there. Didn't we? Yeah, we didn't longboard hardly at all when we were in the dorms. No. I don't remember longboarding really at all until we moved to the apartment. Yeah, me too. But we had the train right right there next to the dorms. 
Well, we didn't have that at the apartment. We had to we had to walk to that, and I was like, I'm longboarding there. I'm not mm-hmm. walking because it was like it was like four or five city blocks, which are shorter than normal blocks, but it's a lot to walk still. It's a lot of blocks. It's a lot of blocks. I do. I did enjoy living there though. I liked it there. I would still live there today. Uh, but it was just it's expensive. But if you work there, by it wouldn't be. Well, nowadays, I thought it's expensive to live here. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, yeah, that was fun. Where did how did we get on that? How did we even get on that? Uh, we were talking about in the city or something, and yeah. Yeah, you had to hang up your longboards and you. Oh, oh, hanging, hanging up, up your longboards. Well, thanks, Katie. Yeah, this no is problem. why this is why we pay you the big bucks. Yeah, yeah. totally. That's why I keep the money. <laughs> <laughs> That's from a different episode. <laughs> the forbidden episode. The forbidden yeah, episode. Yeah. We'll keep that. We'll keep that in mind there yeah. because that was recorded today, <laughs> and I will leave that at that. You might never see it. I almost talked about it. Yeah, you almost did. <laughs> All right. Uh, right moving, moving, moving on. on to some other things happening in the world today. That's a song. Um. I already self-promoted myself, so that's that's out of the way. Uh, Skull and Bones. Do nah, you want to nah, talk about Skull and Bones? I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling like All talking. All right. You want to talk about No, the, no, no. The let's, talk, let's talk about Skull and Bones. <laughs> it's been a while since we've actually sat down and, well, no, we talked about Minds of Moria. Yeah, but we, it's like we for hardly, a while, we haven't really, we just kind of rant. We just kind of talk. Yeah, we, mm-hmm. we, we have this uh, whiteboard. That we like write down the ideas. Yeah, and but then the we topics, get into and then things that talking. happen during the week. Yeah. We kind of reminiscing. Skull and Bones. Yes, the game that was announced fucking three or four years ago, 2017, wasn't it? I think it was when we first heard about it. Yeah, they announced it a while ago, and then there was like a uh, there was like a trailer. It was like cool. A gameplay trailer that kind of showed like. Ships fighting, ba- yeah, ships fighting, and it looked a lot bare bones. This looks a lot more full. The new trailer looks a lot more full. It's a gameplay trailer. Yeah, so it showed it, but it showed kind of like a, a of stuff. PvP. The first one showed a lot of like just PvP, like the ships were fighting, and then the like pirate hunter ship came, and everyone had to like scram. This one's like a lot more, and you can tell they obviously worked on it. A oh, lot. they've been working on it a ton, and. I'm up in the air. I'm not gonna get super excited. I'll probably play it. I like. I like it. it. I think it looks cool. I think it looks really clean. Like it looks. It looks graphically really good. I don't like the UI. I'll say that right now. I do not like the item management UI that they showed for a little bit. I know that's tiny and probably shouldn't complain about the UI. But no, that's that's a. I think it's huge. That's a valid uh, thing to complain about. I mean, there that the, there you can have terrible UIs. I mean how. We don't really care for the white in the uh, Starfield uh, UI. No, I ha- I think the white background in the crafting UI for Starfield is a terrible idea. I get what they're doing. They're trying to make it like angelic space, you know, mm-hmm. Destiny did the same thing, but then they changed it all to dark mode. Bro, nobody wants a white background when you're crafting a weapon that you might take 20 to 30 minutes crafting in the middle of the night in your bedroom with no lights on. Yeah. I trust me, that's going to suck. Anyways, Skull and Bones though is dark mode, but uh, it uh it just doesn't. It looks like a it looks like Minecraft. I, to me, it, to me this is definitely going to be one of those games that's like, you know, I might buy it, and if I buy it, I'm going to play it a little bit and then I'm like, all right, well, that was fun. Yeah. I, I don't I, see I, myself keep playing like see thieves for me. That's a live but, service one too. I don't know if Skull and Bones is. We don't really know. Oh, if we it's don't. Live we, service. Yeah, we don't know. But like for Sea of Thieves, for me, it's like we just hop on to goof around, and then we can hop off. Like it's, right. You don't have like you could literally turn in no treasure, and it time. doesn't feel like you wasted your time. It still feels like it was a good time. Like in other games, it's like well, fuck, I didn't get anything completed, so I wasted like three hours doing nothing. This game though. Uh, there's social spaces so that you can mm-hmm. interact with other players. So I'm curious to see what that's going to do. But however, like you can't get on each other's ships. Your ship is individual to you. You play as if like the character is the ship 
like in Black Flag, where like once you were in the ship, you were controlling the ship, like steering it, and it was yours. Uh, and the combat seems very interesting too. Seems more ship combaty than it does uh any sort of like actual sure. In uh, it combat. I don't know if they're like, I don't think they're trying to be quirky or anything, but some of like the weapons is like super out there. I mean, there could like be the flamethrower and shit. It's like, mm. I mean, they could just be trying to make it more interesting and sure. like diversity. I mean, it, they just made a game where it's like a okay, pirate this, game, like a pirate game, cannonballs and cannons. It's like, okay, you know, Sea of Thieves did that at the beginning. And now look, it still got is. I mean, you got cursed and... cannonballs, but it's like still just a cannonball. I mean, they have like, like big ass crossbows and big ass like automatic guns. In yeah, a sense. I mean, those, those are probably weapons that existed in that time. Or yeah, maybe I'm. Something. We'll see. What I'm just, I'm just. That was weird for me. Uh, the crafting looks cool. But we didn't really get to see a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the gathering, the crafting materials, though, looked weird. And I didn't really like. They, like, sail up to the an island. And there's, like, these trees. And then, like, the trees just, like, tr- like get cut down. But there's, like, no. Yeah, it was, like, they're on the ship and yeah, gathering resources. But it's, like, there's no, like. I think what would have Like, made- the characters don't have, like, an animation as if they're, like out there cutting down the trees you just kind of like are gathering it from the ship as if the ship has hands and is grabbing it i think it's maybe weird. maybe a cooler way to do it would be like have these locations where you know there's these minerals and like supplies and you send a crew out to go get them yeah and they come back with so you just it. don't see it yeah in a sense you wait a little don't, bit don't see it or maybe you see it further on but you see your crew out there cutting down the trees oh, mining cool. the shit and I do like how you can sail. I don't know how big the world is, but you can sail the world and then like run into other player boats and you can like scout them from afar and like see if it's a real player or an NPC player and choose like, like in Sea Thieves where you could be like, okay, I'm going to go sink this dude or I'm going to go try to like rally up with them and then like do stuff as a fleet. Yeah. Uh, I think that's cool. I the think, ships I, look I think, fucking awesome. Though. I think in Sea of Thieves, it's a little bit harder to get people on board with. So much harder. Plus, not everybody uses the pros- proximity chat. I wonder if this game's going to have proximity chat. I think it would be cool if it did. Mm-hmm. I think it would help the aspect of it. But there's like, you have a sloop, the brig, you have a galleon, you have like a mid-tier in between the brig and the galleon, you have a mid-tier in between the sloop and the... And the brig, like, there's a ton of different ship options that you can do. And then you can, like, make your ship, like, a gathering ship where you just go out and, like, you're more of, like, a, like a, what were they called? Like, a merchant, I guess. I don't know. You can just go around and get supplies and take it to, like, place to place yeah. with less weaponry. Or you can make your, like, a like a Davy Jones-style ship where you have, like, layers of weapons. Mm. And, and Yeah, there's, like, like suited crazy. for combat, suited for, like, hauling shit and stuff like that yeah. Haul, uh, speed advantages and yeah all that I, stuff. there's gonna I be a like lot that. of different ways to play it i think that's cool um as for like the story and shit they didn't really talk about it they really just showed like i mean it looked like most gameplay. of the game was going to be revolved around it's an open world where you're also interacting with players and you're trying to do all this stuff to increase your infamy and that infamy is like your rank but it's also like your fame within the world like yeah, how, you're becoming a pirate legend yeah um i i would i would say there might not even be a campaign but it's like there's a campaign through the missions and stuff that you're doing so yeah. get ready to try and do uh, a campaign and you're foiled by multiplayer yep yeah, that's what happened that's like sea of thieves problem it's definitely died down and people like the people who still play sea of thieves regularly are like really good at combat mm-hmm. like when we first started playing i dreaded running into other players now we hunt other players oh yeah like we're like oh that's a brig we could take it we don't really go head to head to galleons very often but we're usually not in a galleon and i don't but i think now we've we've gotten good at ship combat that we could do it we are still really really like 
on the edge of like being decent at like player to player combat. Yeah, yeah. But it's also like Sea of Thieves is very like all over the place. It's never been like good player to player combat. This game though, I don't think has player to player. I think it's all ship based. But then they talked about boarding ships, how you could board ships and get better loot. Yeah, that's I don't a know way if that... that's gonna be like a like okay, the ship's almost sunk. It's like an execution thing where if you get close to the ship, you can either sink it quickly, get loot quick, or you can if you're out there by yourself with the ship, it'll have like an icon that says you can board it. And then you board it, and then there's like a cut scene because the Ubisoft does that a lot, where there's like these tiny little uh, transition cut scenes, and then it's back on your boat, and they're just opening the chest. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, because and then the ship be, sinks. It's gonna be harder to do because that's how you get most of the loot. If you sink them, you get less than right. What you was get on like there. a portion which, of yeah, the it's loot. a portion, so you don't want to like fully sink them. Unless, like, it's an emergency and you just, like, need to kill them to get rid of to them. Keep or them like, maybe there's yeah. a player coming or there's, like, another set of pirates coming. Or the pirate hunters that are out. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about that. The, there's, like, a whole mercenary set of, like, pirate hunters yeah. that are just going to constantly be out hunting you. And they make it seem like they're going to be impossible to fight. Like, you're going to be I hope they're hard as fuck. I want to I be scared when you look through your telescope and you see a pirate hunter. There's mm-hmm. got to be yeah, something pi- out there. Pirates weren't, like, they were on the run. And like they would, yeah, I don't think they went around. They were like, "Oh, let's go sink every boat we see." Yeah, they they would find the like boats that needed uh that had like loot and stuff. They'd sink them and then like get out of there before like yeah. the, you know, pirate hunters would come after them. Right. I I want to be scared when I see that like the flags, or like their sails. I want to be like, we have to turn around. Like mm-hmm. we have to figure out a way to get around this. I will say black flag is my favorite Assassin's Creed and it's it's like a fan favorite because of the ship combat so I think the combat is going to feel very very fun if they just like integrated that and then made it better you know yeah, what I mean which I, I think they made that game because of how well Black Flag did and they got so much responses on like this is like the best pirate like Dude, it was com- ship so combat fun. that's ever been made that's all I wanted to do I remember going out and hunting like the big ships because it was just so fun fighting them Mm -hmm. and it felt like really smooth and it, it didn't feel easy, but it felt very rewarding when you did sink them and it looked awesome. Like the cannonballs hitting your boat and their boat, like the wood would like spring up. That's one thing sea thieves doesn't do very good is like the, the damage, how the damage looks on a boat. I don't think that looks very good. I get they're like cartoony and all that, but mm-hmm. like in Black Flag, it was re- it was like Pirates of the Caribbean damage. It was really cool. Yeah, like the boats would splinter and you would have like wood coming off. That was cool. Uh, do you remember they tried to make an MMO, the Pirates of the Caribbean Online? Mm-hmm. I watched a little documentary on that and like why it died. And I was like, man, this takes me back. Like watching the commercials for it, and I always remember like. Super Man, hyped, I'd like to hyped. I'd like to play that. Dude, there's been so many MMOs that were like like the Lord of the Rings MMO. Could have been so cool. A lot of people still play it, but it's it's fucking shit. It's like really, really bad. Yeah. And then uh Old Republic could have been really, really cool, mm-hmm. but that one kind of fell off. That one's still though, like if you were to put that up against the Lord of the Rings, that one's doing light years better i played uh for a little bit wizards one-on-one no i never played that uh i played uh dc universe online i thought that was oh yeah i thought that was a cool concept pretty cool but i just did not care for the combat like uh it was like well like it was like wow but it was also like playable on a controller because you only had like you can only choose like certain buttons. I, I forget why I just didn't care for it. Cause I was like, I was split between, I liked playing it on keyboard and mouse, but then I also liked playing it on a controller, but there was like the keyboard and mouse had better functions this way, but like terrible on the other side of it. And then like, like they, they had like the pros and cons of like Both. each, but I was like, yeah. man, I just, I'm just not having a fun time playing this game, yeah. but it was a cool concept of like, you're part of 
yeah, you're you're like a superhero, and then like all the superheroes have to get together, like they do in like the movies and stuff like that, to take down the raid bosses and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so I th- I thought that was always a cool concept, but I just never really you finished it. You know what other game that was kind of like that that was really good that Mitchell played with us, that I actually like really 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 liked, Defiance. Defiance. That game was I don't know what it was if about we, that game. Dude, that it, game was so fucking fun to it play. It was just. The combat was good. The combat was good. The weapons were cool. The armor was cool. Like getting your weapons and the your armor was were cool. Fun to fight. The massive, like, rift style world bosses, like massive, mm-hmm. where like people would zone in and then you would have 50, 60, 70 people fighting like one world boss. That was fucking awesome. I remember on we, the console, we would, uh, we'd all be playing here and then, uh, the internet was terrible here at one point, and it was we, it we would, would just pray that we would get we through like, it. Oh, can we like finish it before like we get kicked? And I think then, that's why we stopped playing it. Yeah, because it was just too hard to play here. That game was fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. There was a t. They had a TV show about it too. Like, it, or it started from a TV just, show. That feels like one of those games though that like nobody talks about. Yeah, and nobody really knows about. But yet, it was so good. It, it I. F- feel like it didn't get it, it it's um it's flowers it's flowers i guess is that a term i don't think that's the term <laughs> didn't get what it deserved like that game was that game was fun um i just want that world i have not played a game yet they you know every game even diablo 4 is doing that world bosses where people are gonna zone in and you're gonna fight world bosses no game is done in like defiance that good, yeah. That was a lot of that was a lot of fun. I, yeah, I definitely not played a game like that. Yeah, like even but, ESOs is like not that not that intense. Or like Rift, like was kind of like the first game to really dive into like big scale world bosses that would zone people in. Remember that MMO? Mm-hmm. I like the concept of Rift, where the raids were attacks on the cities and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I, that's a cool concept. That MMO is pretty good. I, mm. People still play that one. That I liked that one, but none of nobody else played it but me and Kyle. So I was like, oh, I don't have anybody to play with. Yeah, I think I was just kind of like, eh, I don't want to play. I well, was oh, I hey. was in the phase of trying to find a new MMO that wasn't WoW during that we, time. We gotta talk about it. Uh, Connor and I are not gonna be playing. Oh, Wrath of Lich King anymore. Yeah, we're not playing no. Wrath. I just I gotta cancel my sub. Hey, cancel your sub. I just... Oh, yeah, Katie, we're not playing Wrathful as King. Okay, no worries. Oh, yeah, I just don't we're have the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Don't worry, I haven't bought it. I only bought that first time. Okay, okay good, good, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're not. It's, it takes too much time. It does. Yeah, if I wasn't playing Destiny, I might have, but... I just didn't like how the quests were and then like you only oh, no. prestige through the quests vanilla is not <laughs> brutal vanilla is yeah. not a <laughs> vanilla is a very old style mmo it's like runescape like runescape i guess you could scale through like doing other things but it was very wow was very quest oriented like do your quest mm-hmm. however you could do dungeons but there's no dungeon finder so it's like remotely on yourself to find those dungeons and find the people who are doing the dungeons Mm-hmm. And you might fucking wait for hours before you find a group. Yeah. If you're not a tank. And then, or healer. Really, healers got in, like, very, very fast. Well, tanks and healers, they got they get in pretty fast. Yeah. But uh, it's a whole different ballgame. Plus, you're coming from New World, where you can literally, yeah. you could go from level 1 to 60, especially now with the update that just came out for that game this month. You could go from 1 to 60 doing nothing but crafting. And mm-hmm. never killing a single thing. Yeah. Um, that is a really cool concept. So, WoW's nothing like that. No. And even Wrath of the Lich King is not like that either. Wrath of the Lich King is still very like, go do this quest. Go do this quest. Go do this quest. Yeah. Th- yeah. Yeah. It's, go run uh, this dungeon. Dungeons, however, did help that, but mm-hmm. there's no dungeon finder coming. Yeah, not in this one. So you're going to have a lot of people just doing quests. Yeah. And never running into any of the dungeons, to be honest. But, no, we decided we're not playing it. Yeah. Yeah. Just 
around the time it's coming out too, it's like Derek's playing Warzone and the new Warzone's gonna be coming out, and then I'll have a I'll have a kid too. Yeah, and then I am gonna be playing. I bet you can't guess what I'll be playing. Come on. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Destiny 2. Oh. Woo, 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 woo. That was so close. I've done the math before we end this episode. I took my playtime. This is so sad, dude. I took my playtime from Destiny and my playtime from Destiny 2 as of a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And I put those times together. Did some math. Right? Okay. Guess how many days I've spent in oh, that game. A whole year. Very close. Days? I, days. If you add up the hours, the in-game hours I've played on both of those games. So just the... De- I add both of them together because Destiny is the same character. It transferred over. It's the yeah. same world. It's the same thing. D1 to D2. I add those times together. I have played the game a total of 200 in like 95 days gosh wow jeez so if you do the, if you think about that why don't you go a t- whole year almost a whole year of my life why like don't if you, you go, sat down why don't you go touch f- some grass <laughs> you saying you saying that destiny players don't touch grass and you know that I said that's why you should go out and touch some not grass. gonna happen I have too much to grind um I've almost sat in that universe, playing that universe for a full year of my life. If you put that in perspective of like thinking about sitting at the computer or the Xbox, say it's just the computer, and not getting up or doing anything for legitimately a full year is fucking insanity. Mm-hmm. It is. You've done this to yourself. I don't regret it. I love that game so much. <laughs> and the, the funny thing is, that's just Destiny. That's just Destiny. What's my WoW time at? What's my Diablo time at? Mm-hmm. What's like the time I put in all the fallouts? Oh, yeah. Like, what's all the time I've put in fucking Bioshock? Or uh, somebody did Call the, of Duty, dude. I've put a lot of time in all the Call of Duties. Somebody did the math and they found out, like, of all the time that everybody's played Call of Duty, they added that up. And we've played Call of Duty longer than humans have been alive. I 100% believe that. Because I have easily put enough times in, if I added all the time in every video game I've ever played, I've probably at least gotten over... Four years. No, there's got to be. I mean, I've been playing for ever. Yeah. And I've played WoW probably pretty close to Destiny, which is almost two years at that point. That's just WoW and Destiny. <laughs> I mean, I've put hundreds and hundreds of hours in Diablo, mm-hmm. but no game will ever probably get as high as Destiny because I literally play that every day and probably put like, I probably log in two hours a day, legitimately. Not every day, but pretty damn fucking close. Mm. Like if you, yeah, probably pretty close. <laughs> so, oh, oh, we're getting feedback. What Jesus the Christ! Fuck? Is that us? I don't know. Katie, say something. Say say something. Say Whoa. something. What <laughs> just happened? Well, we're at the end of the episode anyways. I I muted it because you can't hear it on the in the recording. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they can't hear it on the recording. Okay. Cuz wow, dude, something's up. <laughs> just <laughs> Oh my god. All right, we got to end the episode. Okay. All right. Technical difficulties. Bye.